Our tale begins with a man of humble origins. John Calvin, a lawyer turned theologian, a man with a robust intellect and a fervent desire for religious reform, born in 1509 in Noyon, France. His life took a transformative turn in 1533 when in response to increasing religious tensions, Calvin underwent what he called a sudden conversion. He abandoned his legal pursuits, embraced Protestantism, and devoted himself to the study of Scripture. Chased from France due to the mounting political pressures and persecution of Protestants, he intended to settle in peaceful obscurity in Strasbourg. However, in a twist of fate, Calvin found himself diverted to Geneva, Switzerland. What he thought would be a short stay turned into a life-altering journey. In Geneva, he encountered William Farrell, a fiery reformer who recognized Calvin's scholarly talent and persuaded him to stay and help reform the city. It wasn't an easy task. Resistance was strong, and both men were expelled from the city. But after just three years, they were invited back, and Calvin seized this second chance with a vision for a theocratic society. Calvin established a model of Christian community in Geneva, implementing a blend of church governance and city politics. He introduced a constitution, formed consistories, committees of church elders who maintained moral discipline, and started schools. His goal was to create a city that exemplified Christian principles, not only in worship, but in everyday life. His model of governance was not without controversy. His strict moral codes and austere discipline led to the exile and, in some cases, execution of those who openly opposed him. The most infamous example is the execution of Michael Servetus, a Spanish physician accused of heresy. However, despite these controversies, Calvin's systematic theology and his ideal of a Christian society attracted many followers. Calvin's influence extended well beyond Geneva. His seminal work, The Institutes of the Christian Religion, a systematic explanation of Protestant theology, was widely read and studied throughout Europe and played a crucial role in spreading his ideas. Thus, Calvinism was born, a major branch of Protestantism that strongly emphasized the sovereignty of God, the sinfulness of man, and the doctrine of predestination. When Calvin died in 1564, he left behind a legacy that extended far beyond the confines of Geneva. His ideas and influence reached across continents and centuries, shaping the development of the modern world. Calvinism transformed not only theology, but also society, politics, and culture in profound ways. His theological insights continue to resonate within numerous branches of Protestantism today. Thank you for your passion for our collective past. Before you go, make sure to immortalize your presence by liking, subscribing, and add your thoughts in the comments below.